Back in that time, we used to go way back Hitting in a right then in a main back All this is fake, just got to your head Well shit, now fat, you can fucking bend out Yeah, yeah, I'm a high beast, you can fucking find me what is going on YouTube family? Welcome back to another episode of Flight for Hype. That's right, baby, where we talk sneakers, right, man? It's your boy CJ coming to you guys with another sneaker video, and today we're talking about the Jordan 4s. These babies debuted back in 1989, and since then, they have been one of the most coveted Jordans of all time. You wanna know why? Stay tuned to find out. I just picked up one of my grail sneakers of the Jordan 4 Fire Reds that dropped back in November. So we're gonna be talking everything about the Jordan 4s and every single Jordan 4 drop that is dropping in 2021. But before we get into all that, you know what we do here, pre-record and turn up. Let's jump into it. <laughs> back we are back we are back guys you guys already know what it is man thank you so much for just tuning in just kicking with your boy we talk with sneakers today as we always do but before we get into all that if y'all have not checked out our last video man where i destroy jordan's like thousand like twelve hundred dollar air force ones off whites then make sure y'all check out that video right now leave a comment in the comment section below we definitely appreciate everyone who's been supporting us if you are brand new to this channel and you love everything about sneaker reviews sneaker culture sneaker fashion and skits that we've been doing from the very start then make sure you smash that subscribe button guys smash a like on this video and make sure you turn on your post notifications that way you know exactly when we are dropping our videos Alright guys, you guys already know what it is, man. We are talking about the Jordan 4 Fire Red Retros, man. These have not debuted since 1989, and in my opinion, seeing it as it's been that long, every other Jordan 4 that comes out after these ones, it's a reset to the entire Jordan 4 line. Straight up. So, starting with what, the Sand Topes that dropped earlier this year, which are absolutely fire. We got the University Blues, but before we get into all that, let's see the shoes. Boom, 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 guys. The Jordan 4 Fire Red. These are crazy, guys. Honestly, so a little bit of a story before we get into everything we're gonna talk about. I actually, when I first started collecting sneakers, these were my very first pair of Jordans, period. The Jordan 4s. Now, they did have the uh, Spike Lee head on the back heel here, originally when I first got them. There, I forgot what year that was, but I'll, I'll put it up right here. So when I got those, I actually sold them like a few years ago. So I was like, I always wanted to get them back in the collection. So when they dropped in November, I slept on them. I'm not gonna lie, I slept on them. But my boy, shout out to um, Matt Sweet Kicks, man. He hooked up my pair. Definitely appreciate you, brother. And honestly, I couldn't be happier, man. So did you guys ever wonder why the Jordan 4s are such a covenant sneaker? Take a look what Jordan did in a pair of Jordan 4s. Check this out. What you guys are seeing, 1985, Cleveland Cavaliers, Chicago, Jordan makes the shot. Game winner, over. Go, Jeez, go, game go. five. Epic. Butter, game winner. So that's where it comes from. Now that the Jordan 4 Fire Red is out, I feel like it's a complete reset now to the entire Jordan 4 line. We haven't seen them since 1989, so everything that's coming out after is like a re retro wing and a re visioning of the entire line. We've already seen the Sand Topes that dropped, but let's look into the other Jordan 4s that are dropping this year as well, too. Alrighty guys, so let's go down our list. We're gonna go starting with number one. I kind of already mentioned them already. The Jordan 4 University Blues. These are dropping April 28th. I'm sure everybody knows because everyone's eyes have been on these sneakers since the Jordan 1 University Blues are long gone, but still those are super hard to get right now as well too. These are already going for like 900 bucks on StockX for early pairs guys. So obviously anything with University Blue, it's going to be a complete craze and the colorway is absolutely crazy 
That cemented midsole is crazy. The blue suede looks crazy. I would actually prefer these over the Jordan 1 Universities, to be honest with you. I know, don't, don't, don't shoot. So those ones are dropping. Let's see what else. All right, guys, for the second one that is dropping this year, we have the Jordan 4 White Oreos. Now, this is a really clean colorway. I do like the fresh white. From what I'm reading, actually, they do have really nice quality leather on these particular pairs here. Obviously, the price is gonna be 225. These ones are actually going to be dropping on May 28th, so be on the lookout for these guys. But there's another one that's gonna be dropping that's gonna have everybody going absolutely crazy. All right, guys, so for the third one that's dropping are the Jordan 4 Lightning. Now, this is a very loud colorway. You do see a lot of yellow on the upper. Um, one thing I do like about it, though, is that it's a clean color block. It's a clean colorway. Not for everybody, for sure, because I know some people don't like the loudness of the sneaker itself, but I can definitely see these going for some pretty good prices, if you ask me. These are going to be coming out August 7th, guys, so be on the lookout for these ones. All right, so the next ones that are going to be coming up this year, these are the Jordan 4 Customizable DIYs. Now, these are for toddlers. This is a really cool concept. So basically what they're doing here, they're giving, they're, they're putting out a Jordan 4 all white for toddlers, and they're going to actually put markers in the box, in the sneaker box, where kids can actually customize and do their own colorway. Now, another cool fact is that they're actually going to have like black markings around each panel so that they can actually like color into the lines you know what i mean i think that's a really cool concept and i think that's a really cool way to kind of just like you know get the get the creativity juices flowing for these young sneaker heads that start off as toddlers because we so that's a really really dope those ones are dropping august 19th so be on the lookout for those all right guys coming in the next one this is a woman's exclusive these are the jordan 4 shimmers these are dropping september 3rd i really like this colorway the first thing that i thought about when i saw this sneaker actually were the off-whites, the sales. Yeah, one of my girls that I know I'll probably never get, but anyways, that's okay. Um, it's a really clean colorway, very, very like wearable for sure. You know, it's a very fall-esque color, and I think it's coming out at the perfect time as well too. Um, the one thing that I do like, and I've always said this about the Jordan brand, they for the past couple of years, they've really been focusing on the women's sneaker heads and really giving them sneakers that, you know, they can not only feel good in and comfortable in, but really give them, the, give them that exclusivity, you know what I mean? I know a lot of the men go for the bigger sizes, but at least the women get something that, that they can say like, you know what, like these were for us, and Jordan's really paying homage to them because we know so many female sneaker heads, and to some people that's still like brand new news, which is absolutely crazy to me. Let's move on. All right, guys, for the next ones, we have the Jordan 4 Red Thunders. These are dropping October 2nd. Now, when I first saw these, I'm not gonna lie, I, I'm not too, I'm not too, you know, excited about the color blocking, you know what I mean? Black and red, it's kind of too matchy-matchy, I guess some people would say, but nonetheless, a very dope colorway. If you don't have the breads, you know what I mean? Because the breads go for, you know, a pretty, decent price nowadays on StockX, and even if you wanna you know, get your friend to sell it to you, you're still gonna be paying at least five, six bills for a pair of breads. So if you like the black and red colorway, you don't wanna pay the resale price for the breads, why not wait for these? Like I said, these ones are dropping on October 2nd, guys. So make sure you guys be on the lookout for these ones. All right, so for the last ones, actually, these ones are like really turned my head when I first saw them. These are the Jordan 4 Desert Moss. Now this is a beautiful colorway. Olive is my color, like honestly, olive, maroon, burgundy, those are like those fall colors that I just a vibe all through the year. Honestly, no, no cap, no cap at all. So these ones are coming out and I think these ones are going to be absolutely crazy to get because I think anything olive, to be honest with you, is such a wearable color, such a wearable tone that a lot of people that might not be into that matchy matchy, super bright color is gonna love to have something chill very neutral, but very wearable as well too. So I think the olive colorway is absolutely perfect. <sighs> Alrighty guys, so that is the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know how you feel about the Jordan 4 Fire Reds. Let me know which one of the Jordan 4s that I talked about in this video is your favorite, is the most anticipated that you've been looking forward to. Or if you didn't know that it was coming out, now you know that it's coming out. And let me know which one you're most going to cop for your collection. Definitely want to hear from you guys. 
Other than that, guys, definitely appreciate you guys just kicking it with me. Um, like I said, if you're brand new to the channel, you love everything about sneakers, sneaker culture, sneaker reviews, fashion, and we got a bunch of really funny skits as well too on our channel. So make sure you guys head back over there and check those out as well too. Smash that subscribe button, turn on your post notifications, and put that thumbs up and give me a comment in the comment section as well too. And also, lastly, lastly, I know I'm asking for a lot, guys, but we do a lot. We do a lot over here, okay? Lastly, Make sure you guys follow us all on our IG. All of our links are down there in the description as well too. So make sure you guys check that out. And don't be afraid, you know, send your boys a little DM. Yeah, we cool with it, we cool with it, we cool with it. Other than that, guys, we out. Oh!